All right. Just out here in the woods with the sheep. I'm getting them some filling up their water down at the bottom from the spring. We've got them out at the property right now. Letting them walk up and down these hills and we're spreading out some hay trying to gonna try to turn this all into a silvo pasture so all the big trees stay all the little ones will go it's really steep out here which is what sheep need they're made to be in steep terrain uh, their hooves that's what keeps them filed down and all that good stuff whenever i got them um a couple of them had some hoof issues actually trimmed all their hooves which would will be the only time that i will ever trim them because we're not feeding grain, we're going, uh, we're, we're going to be practicing regenerative farming methods, so um, low input and uh, feeding some mineral and feeding hay out here while I've got them at the property for the next few days. And then uh, just very low input. So I am feeding a little bit of grain right now just for training purposes. I don't I want them to follow me and that's that's what they're accustomed to the, the grain I'm mixing a little grain with alfalfa pellets and using that but you can see they're not missing any meals they're all enormous they are definitely some chubsters so it's amazing what sheep will eat I mean they'll eat just about any anything green I've seen I've been cutting down pine trees up there for them and they'll eat every needle off a pine tree I've got orchard grass, um, hay out here for them. I've got alfalfa, I've got timothy, and fescue hay. And they uh, they like all that. So, they are, they're fun little critters. So, they'll be moving on, hopefully, to their next project in the near future. And until then, they're going to be hanging out out here for a week or so. Um trying to get some manure on the ground and I haven't done a soil test out here but I'd like to turn all this it's going to be tough to grow because it's so steep but I'm going to try to turn it all into silvo pasture so you kind of see up the hills and down the valleys it's just very mountainous terrain a lot of rocks so that's really good for their feet kind of an ideal as weird as it sounds before they came from a pasture that looked really pretty just flat creek running through it big big pretty stream running through it and you know from just looking at it it looked like the perfect sheep habitat in fact it wasn't they were it was so low and so flat their their feet stayed wet all the time and sheep uh don't do well with wet feet brownie came up here to take a little nap beside me so this as strange as it looks is actually better sheep habitat and if it had some green stuff growing it'd really be good sheep habitat so this is what they're gonna thrive in they really like that alfalfa hey i got one of those blocks from tractor supply and they have devoured the block of alfalfa hay down there so